Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, layoffs are coming to Embracer Group. Now, if Embracer Group sounds familiar to you, it's because they went on a buying spree for the last two years. They bought a bunch of game companies. Uh, they got the uh, rights to Lord of the Rings. They bought Dark Horse Comics. They bought Limited Run Games. And it looks like some of their employees are going to be in for a limited run now because now they've basically overspent. They had a fat contract fall through and now they're going to start chopping. Mm -hmm. Who could have foreseen this? That the money is running out. And, uh, apparently not Embracer Group. Apparently not Embracer Group. Everybody's like, wow, Embracer's buying this, Embracer's buying that. They bought this studio, that studio, and uh, now they're running out of money. Maybe Never go full Disney. Well, that's it. The, the, the closest example I can think of with Embracer is Disney, except they're like the, the Disney of video game companies. And also Lord of the Rings, the IP. They're going to make more Lord of the Rings movies. You know, maybe, who knows? They might have run out of money. I don't know what's going on. So we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you'll get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, so this is really interesting because I remember so many people getting on us when we were talking about Embracer Group before. And they're like, oh no, these guys are very based. It's going to be great. Embracer Group's oh, a great yeah. company. I do remember that, yeah. You know, they're, they're not woke at all. They're great. And then uh, not long after they bought Limited Run Games, uh, Embracer bought Limited Run Games. And uh, they think it was Embracer Group that put pressure on them to fire Carolyn because of online backlash. And for a tweet that was made years ago. For a tweet that One was made tweet. years ago, calling her a transphobe over the uh, the J.K. Rowling. All because she says she wanted to play the new Hogwarts Legacy game. And now one of the co-founders of the company is out the door as of a couple of weeks ago. So I think all of these things are related. I think their sales took a massive hit. Uh, because they they basically pissed off hardcore gamers. Hardcore gamers are the ones that are going to buy physical copies, especially of retro games. And they drop serious coin on these games. And a lot of people, myself included, I mean, I've bought limited run product in the past. I will not buy anything from them again. Mm -mm. And it led to the ousting of one of the co-founders. Uh, but it's too little too late, right? So they're the ones who own the Lord of the Rings IP now too. And a lot of people are like, wait, you're doing new Lord of the Rings movies outside of the Amazon stuff. Yes. How the hell is that going to work? Well, they've been saying they're going to do that. Yeah. But uh, even, I, I think it was uh, Elijah Wood said he he wasn't really on board with it. He was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? So this has come from Deadline. Everybody's covering it. IGN's got an article talking about the video game side of things. Uh, layoffs and closures are eminent for Lord of the Rings IP owner Embracer Group as the Swedish outfit unveils a restructure that will focus on cost savings, capital allocation, efficiency, and consolidation. So they went full Disney. They went full and Disney. This is, and they're, now they're going the same way as Disney. Yeah, it's 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 painful to see talented team members leave, according to the CEO. Um, this is not good. So the restructure is being divided into different phases over the next, <laughs> it's, it's Disney. <laughs> over the next nine months. Nine months of layoffs. Focusing on cost savings, capital allocation, efficiency, and consolidation, according to the letter, which said there will be increased focus on accountability across the group. Maybe you can't go buy everything in sight. Maybe you just can't do that anymore during these these uh, uh, unprecedented macroeconomic times. I'm sorry, I just I keep seeing this, and I'm like, don't never go full Disney. That's what I keep thinking in yeah. my head. That's basically what they did. It's biting them in the ass. So if you're a company out there. Watch and learn. Watch and learn what not to do. There there will be books. There will be, well, I don't know if there will be books in the future, but there will be documents generated by AI that talk about how all these companies basically blew themselves up because they bought everything in sight and they mismanaged it. They overspent. Um, so they said the first phase is going to look at cost savings. The second will analyze specific actions. And the third will be focused on internal consolidation. Uh, so they said the Swedish video game outfit generated headlines last year when it acquired Middle Earth Enterprises. So they basically bought Lord of the Rings. So they probably overpaid for Lord of the Rings, like Disney ever paid for Fox, and now... Yeah, so here's the thing. Um, on the video game side of it, apparently they had a $2 billion contract fall through. Oh, yeah, that According that'll, that'll to IGN. 
And uh, they own a bunch of game studios. So that's what caused this this massive layoff all of a sudden is they lost a deal. Yeah. So Embracer right. Group has announced plans to close studios, cancel games, and lay off staff just weeks after a $2 billion contract fell through. They couldn't say what the contract was for. I guess it was some like top secret project or whatever. But they uh, they basically thought they had $2 billion to play with. And they don't have it. It's, it's all monopoly money. Um so yeah, they said it's Empire includes companies such as THQ Nordic, uh, PlayOn, Saber Interactive, Gearbox, Middle Earth Enterprises, which would be Lord of the Rings, Dark Horse. They bought Dark Horse yeah. Comics completely. Uh, Coffee Stain, Crystal Dynamics, uh, Eidos Montreal, Asmodee, Amplifier, Deep Silver, many others. Limited Run Games. They're not mentioning that because it's not worth mentioning. Yeah. Embracer set to release games for uh, Warhammer, Space Marine, Hot Wheels, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, in December, Amazon Games signed a deal with Embracer-owned Crystal Dynamics to support the development of and publish the next mainline Tomb Raider game being made in Unreal Engine. So they have stuff going on, but they said they hit the headlines last month when a mystery $2 billion deal fell through unexpectedly at the last minute. They had a verbal commitment for a major deal made in October of 2022 which would have included more than $2 billion in contracted development revenue over a period of six years. I wonder if this was like Disney stuff or if this I was, was thinking it. I didn't say it. I don't know. It could be a lot. There's a lot of things it could be. But I was like, watch it be that. That would be that would just be the most delicious irony ever. But well, I don't think it probably is. Disney, you're you're you know, assuming Disney had two billion. Yeah, well, Disney assumed it had two billion. The, the weird thing about this is if you look at the buying spree, it happened, it all happened around that time. I think they thought, and, and how how incompetent, uh, you know, of a CEO is like, oh, we have a verbal commitment. Somebody said they're going to give us two billion, so go out and buy a whole bunch of companies. Is that what they did? But I mean, what, what was it? Some Lord of the Rings game, and after the Gollum game did so terrible, it was another company. People got shy, and just last minute I, I pulled it. I don't know. They I don't won't know say either. what it is. Uh, nobody says what it is. Uh, the partnership involved many of the highest rated global advisory boards, several hundred people engaged on both sides. Holy shit. Uh, final paperwork was even finalized the night before the company's latest financial report was due out. Wait, so the final paper was finalized. That would imply that it was finalized, not final paper being finalized. Yeah. means it's, it's done, it's but apparently it's almost not. A done. So until, it can't be finalized. Until the ink dries and the check clears, it's never done. The day after, in a video call announcing the company's financial report, a visible... A visible a, Visibility shaken. A visibly shaken Wing of Force struggled to explain the catastrophic impact of the collapse of the deal uh, would have on the company. We're seeing the impact. So, yeah, they engaged close to 17,000 people. 17,000 people work for this company. So this is just another example of another company, a media company, imploding because they bought too much. They mismanaged. And again, we don't know how each individual division is performing, but like... It sounds like they put all their eggs, they're based everything on this one deal, and they shouldn't have done that. Yeah, and they were going around, like I said, they bought Dark, uh, Dark Horse Comics, and people were like, okay, they bought Dark Horse. They have no interest in comics. They basically wanted like the Hellboy IP or whatever Dark Horse had. Yeah, but they're had, not saying know? they bought the stuff because of this deal. No, 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 but I'm thinking they thought they had more money to play around with because they thought they were going to, th that's my personal opinion. I think because this would have been negotiated for months, their buying spree happened like last summer. They just went around, they just started buying, including limited run games. Dark horse, I think was last year. Uh, Lord of the Rings was last fall, I think. And they were announced immediately. They were going to do more movies and all that stuff. And I think they went on this buying spree thinking that they were going to have billions of dollars that they don't have. And I'm also, but, but again, I'm like, you're a CEO of a the major company and the ink isn't dry and the check hasn't cleared. You don't have that money yet. And what we're seeing now with everybody, and that's, you know, every Disney and all these companies is they all counted their chickens before they hatched. They all thought they had money coming in that they didn't have coming in. And then, you know, the solution's always been like, oh, we run out of money. Let's just go to the bank and get another round of venture capital. So they're saying, you know, they, they're, they were previously expecting the breakthrough moment this coming year. It's now preparing for such an event. The following two years, saying the company is nearing a notable inflection point. They basically can't afford to go out and buy shit anymore. And the shit they have, they can't afford to keep running. And a lot of these are redundancies. There are a lot of these companies, these these gaming studios that overlap with one another and the right, kind of, that's what kinds of games too. that they make. And so what's going to happen is they'll probably just say, hey, Crystal Dynamics and 
THQ and, uh, you know, Asmodee. We'll just like merge you all together because you all basically do the same thing. Anyway, pretty much, yeah. You know, and and again, this is just like we're going to see so much media implode, and it's so sad because you look at all these companies, and they were all separate entities at one point in time, and then you know, like EA came in, and an Embracer Group came in, and Disney came in, and they all just start gobbling up all these companies. Well, to, Disney isn't doing it for uh, the gaming anymore. They're outsourcing all their gaming now. But yeah, but I'm just saying, just in general, like like all these media companies buy up so many websites, they buy up so many, uh, you know, IP and so many smaller studios. They're not, even, they're not even mentioning limited run games. They're mentioning all these, these companies. It's not worth it. They're not even mentioning that one. No, that's what blows my mind. It's like, so, so they already decide they're getting rid of that one because they're not even bringing it up. Yeah, because here's the thing. I, I would love to know. I would love to know what their sales are like now because they shot themselves in the foot. And Limited Run Games is a company that could have kept chugging along if it had been its own thing. But I think the founders probably saw a quick payday and they're like, oh, this this Swedish company is coming along. They want to throw buckets of money at us. And we get to stay on and keep working there? Yeah, you get you get to stay on. You get to stay on and keep working there. Mm-hmm. If a deal sounds too good to be true, this is kind of what happened with Rooster Teeth, too. You know, they had a good thing going, but it wasn't enough. They wanted to, you know, do the Hollywood thing. So they sold the company and then it got sold eventually, you know, all the way down the line, the line to Warner Brothers. And now they're just in like this decimated state with hardly any of the original people involved. How dare you? Know? you? Um, yeah, no, he said, I'm taking a short sabbatical. Before I start my next adventure, that means I, I this came out of nowhere. I got shit canned, and now I'm like have to figure out what I'm going, whether company I'm going to start next. Yeah. So how does that feel? How does it feel to be unceremoniously dumped from a company you put a lot of time into? You know, I, I think they look at they looked at the numbers. I think they looked at and they're like, yeah, you guys aren't bringing it, and uh, you might have been the one responsible for the drama around that that uh, you know customer service uh, manager who caused us to lose all kinds of business get the fuck out of here mm -hmm. you know so i think a lot of people are going to wind up losing their jobs or it could just be you know we're going to roll you if the redundancy we're going to roll into something else limited run game would be a branch of one of the other companies yeah because it's tiny in comparison well it's very tiny the thing is they barely do any original stuff they basically just publish physical copies of other studios games right and there's a limited demand for that there's which only is why it's called limited run which easily could be absorbed into one of the other companies yeah. and it's like so and so presents limited run is a division of that yeah. doing these games yep. you don't need a separate nope nope not at all so uh this is what happens guys i don't know but we'll watch this situation because uh I, i'm very curious to see how it's going to impact the lord of the rings movie plans i could actually if they're hard up for money i could see nobody has any money that's the problem i could see them selling lord of the rings completely to warner brothers because you know they did uh, New Line Cinema and that they did mm. the original movies, I could see them doing that, but I, I don't think they have the money to, to buy. I don't either. think they have the money to buy either, but I think that would be dumb on their end because that's one of the things they have that's actually potentially worth money. Right. I don't think they're going to do that. Well, then they might just juice these hobbits as much as. They yes, that I can see, but just I'll disagree with you hobbits. that they might sell it. But they might, and then you know, I'd be like, haha, I told you. Can Can you milk a hobbit? It has nipples. It can milk anything with nipples. You can milk hobbits. And apparently almonds. I mean, who knew? And cashews. You can milk nuts. There's a joke in there somewhere. There is, and I didn't even see that one. Yeah, coming. we're okay. Are we gonna? Are we gonna? Are yes. we gonna Wrap this up. Oh, sorry. I just saw Treat Williams died. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, and, and Ezra Miller is on the red carpet. That also sucks. See ya. Bye. Sorry, I, I yelled loudly. That's okay. I got I got the limiter on. Okay. So uh, you can tell my kick setting. Yeah, you can you can sell you can Wait, tell. Really, it automatically limits it when it, I yell. It does when you get when the pitch gets too high. It it <laughs> it does. When sometimes if you sound like all robotic, it's oh because it's God. it's bringing the decibels down. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.